Welcome to today's version of Quarterback Meetings with me, Eric Ainge. I want to thank our awesome sponsors, Amerigas and Heritage Propane. Go to Amerigas.com or HeritagePropane.com for all your residential and commercial propane needs. Also, LCUB, the Lenore City Utilities Board, sponsoring quarterback meetings. Call 1-844-OUR-LCUB. That's 1-844, that's O-U-R, 1-844-OUR-LCUB, and get hooked up today as a customer, and they'll give you all the automated calls automatically that come through if there's a power outage or anything going on in your neck of the woods. Again, Mayor Gas Heritage Propane and LCUB. Today in QB meetings, we're going through pass progressions. How does a quarterback think when he gets a play in from the sideline, he hears it's a pass play, what does that trigger for him and how to read the play? There's only three ways to do it. Pure progression, big alert, and then PSL. We call that a pre-snap, post-snap look, PSL. First one right here, pure progression, easiest one, okay? We've got the X coming in motion, running a nice tight little drag, a burst release dig route here by the other wide receiver. Backside, we got a banana out by the tight end, a little dummy wheel route by the F, going through on the play fake, and sitting down here, the tailback right here. So there's your routes. Pure progression. Is he open? Is he open? Is he open? Start over here. Eyes to the left. Is he open? No. Come to the next guy that flashes on the drag route. Is he open? No. To the next guy that drags right here. Pops. Number three. Is he open? No. You always have number four here in the check down. Again, this one ends up happening just at or outside the tackle box anyway. Spacing is important, and the basic rule of thumb when you're going through a progression or trying to teach someone or learning is where are my eyes and which one happens first. If you're in here looking at this one, the tight end has already made his break and he's not open anymore. That happens first, that happens second, that happens third. Little things like that little outside release just to create the right amount of timing and space between these three guys so your eyes naturally will take you to one of those three guys getting open we call that seven drive a seven route and then this is a drive concept everybody in america runs a drive concept this is old 49ers west coast football right here seven drive pure progression is he open is he open is he open find the check down that's the easiest way to read a play if you are a quarterback, a young quarterback, learning the position, trying to figure your way into high school or college sports, um, getting those pure progression reads are always the easiest. Another pure progression would be, uh, you got your receivers out here. Let's go with uh, coming in tight. You got a deep crossing route right here. Take him off right here. Take him off right here. You got a fullback out here, a tailback back here, whatever the case may be. Someone in the flat, someone deep, and someone on a crossing route. Play action back here, set up in the pocket. This is a three-level flood. You saw him run a three-level flood. Matt Ryan hit one uh, in the Falcons game in the Super Bowl. They just disregarded the flat. Again, like last time, never pass up an open flat. It's, is he open? Is he open? Is he open? A three-level flood. And you can eliminate this pre-snap more often than not on these flood concepts. So really... You're just dropping back, really selling the fake with a number one to number two. And if he's wide open, take it. The easiest plays in all of football are these pure progression routes. A lot of them um, come off big play action in your bigger, heavier sets down on the goal line. You see a lot of these things, and they're really simple ways to learn the game. Another one, the second way to read a pass play is called a big alert. A big alert is a pure progression on one side with a backside alert. So we can have three guys right here, just call them whatever you want, and we can have them running, this is old, an old Norm Chow play, right here. It's a box beater, okay? I'll get into that at another point, but it's just one to two to three, right here. Boom, boom, boom. This is your hot answer versus pressure. Know your hot answer, inside, out, and then backside, you can put a slant, you can put a fade stop, you can put a five yard out, you can put whatever you want back here. That's your big alert. Each alert has different criteria. You want an off corner to throw that five yard out. You want man to man with no overhang to throw the three yards, the three step slant. To throw a fade stop, you want man to man, preferably press man to man. So no overhang in here with tight man to man coverage. If you don't want to run the slant, run a fade stop route. Get a good corner to bite on that fade and then throw it on his outside shoulder. All these big alert plays, backside 
alerts have different criteria for different routes in different situations with a front side combination, which is just what we did to start, which is a pure progression. Is he open? Is he open? Is he open? Oh no, they brought four strong. I can't get it blocked. Know where your hot answer is and get the ball out of your hand. Pure progressions and big alerts, two of the three ways to read a pass play if you're a quarterback. They're the two easiest ways and there's always a completion. Quarterback meetings, learning how to throw the football, where to throw the football. The next one we're gonna do is the third way to read a pass play, which is the most complicated, which is a PSL, a pre post snap look. I'm Eric Gange and that's your quarterback meetings brought to you by Amerigas Heritage Propane and LCUB.